for over 60 years. This sisterhood has blossomed into iconic status, world-renowned. Each year it's a sprint to become one of football's fabulous females. And these Raiderette hopefuls are laying it on the line to prove they have what it takes to be a Raiderette. Auditions, you can't take everybody. Be present in the moment because you'll never get this moment back. Dig deep, remember your why and let your passion for dance show. Listen guys, because you guys are such great teammates, however, like level up. where we're going with this, mm -hmm. it's a different level. Just the level of talent this year was insane. And when we got to the final group, I knew that it was anyone's game. And part of dance is it's subjective. So, you know, there's never a clear winner. And sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow as a dancer. But I think in high pressure situations, some people sink or swim. Unfortunately, auditions, you can't take everybody. So we had to take the best of the best. and. When you're looking at these dancers as a whole, these dancers have all trained since they were three years old. So you're talking about the top 5% of professional dancers coming out for our team, and we can only take 32. We only have 30 minute rehearsal. Oh my God, my pants. Hi, my name is Lexi. I'm a very passionate and hardworking young woman, and I just love living life to the fullest. I would describe my passion for performance as, I just feel like I was born to do this. I don't find as much joy in anything else than when I'm on stage. I mean, I think anyone can tell when they watch me, I just light up, I get so happy, and I really feel like that's where I am my best self, on stage, performing. In front of big crowds, no matter what I'm doing, like, I just love to put on a show, I guess. <laughs> it really feels kind of euphoric, and I love doing it with my teammates, my sisters, whoever's on stage with me. Lexi is such a hard worker. Lexi's 100% is 200%. I've never seen somebody give that much into dance. Like she is full out all the time. If you say, okay, here's the choreography, sleep on it. She will be on the side, in the mirror, practicing, dancing full out, giving 200% for no one in the room. It'll be her by herself giving 200%. Her drive is crazy. Her talent is off the charts. And the more I talk to Lexi, it's crazy because she doesn't see it. I think as a dancer, oftentimes you're criticized a lot. Just that's the nature of dance. You're criticized a lot from a young age. It's like, I have to be the best. I have to win. I have to be better. So I think she's had this competitive mentality for so long to be better and to be the best that she's lost sight of how talented she actually is. Oh my gosh, it's unreal. Like, I'm, and I'm so thankful for all the support everyone shows me all the time. We vote on Rookie of the Year. The team votes on Rookie of the Year. She had a pretty much clean sweep of this award, and it was beyond shocking to her that she received it. She could not fathom that she deserves it. I think that award helped me gain a lot of confidence in myself. I am someone who, it's hard to believe, but I don't have the trust in my abilities, or I'm very doubtful of what I bring to the table. But winning that award, I it kind of was like a switch in my head, and I was like, wait, I, I am good enough to be here. Everyone else in my life is realizing that, and like I need to realize that too, and 
I know that whatever happens, I am doing my best that I can. I am so excited. It's gonna be literally amazing. I can't believe we get to audition here. I'm just so excited to dance with everyone. I think it's gonna be phenomenal. Hi, I'm Jordi. I'm a hardworking and bubbly girl and I love nursing and dance. I've always loved to perform, even like before I could start walking, I would sing songs or do little dances and I just love to perform for my family and friends. They would set me on the dining room table at dinner and just let me entertain people. I wasn't always the type of person that could express my emotions like vocally, especially when I was younger. And dance was a way for me to express those emotions, like whatever I was feeling, if I was happy, if I was sad, if I was stressed out, dance was that release for me. You know, I feel like we all have stuff growing up and just like through my difficult times, dance was what got me through. I loved being a Laker girl. It was, you know, a dream and it was so fun. Um, but just, I had been following this team for a while and always dreamed of being on this team. I want to be a Raiderette because they're amazing dancers, but they're also amazing human beings. All these girls, are so established in not only their dancing, but their other careers and their education and are so involved in the community. And I would love to be a part of that. I can tell that like just by seeing from the outside, not even being a part of it, that these girls really do love each other and they really support each other in everything they do. It would mean so much for me to make the team. Um, I've dreamed of being on this team and I look up to the girls that are on the team. Hair and makeup was really fun but just trying to get the nerves out right now. <laughs> I'm just mostly feeling excitement, like eager to show the judges and our family and friends all the hard work we've been putting in all week. My name is Danielle, and I am an extremely dedicated individual that loves sharing my passions with the world. We're about to head in and see the venue for the first time. Growing up, like my brother did football, my dad did football. It was just football was something that was always in my life. So then naturally, so were the cheerleaders. And I was always in awe of them just as much as I was um, a football. So around 10, I begged my mom, just let me sign up for cheerleading to see if I liked it. And I completely fell in love with everything about cheerleading. It lights my soul on fire. Sometimes I almost feel like I'm in another world. I don't even know how to explain it. One of my favorite parts about performing is the way that Raider Nation just, the fan base and the energy that they bring to the stadium, it almost lights like a, a new fire inside of you. I just feel on top of the world, like I'm doing something that I love and I'm sharing this space with people that I love and my heart just feels so happy. I adore Danielle. I think there is no greater teammate than Danielle. I think she is just one of those remarkable, resilient, amazing teammates. She's the hardest worker in the room by far. Danielle cheered in Oakland, I believe the last season in Oakland, and she had an amazing season. And then she auditioned when the team moved to Vegas and she didn't make the team and she was heartbroken. And I remember um, preparing and training so hard and walking into the room and I felt overwhelmed. Like the moment that I've been waiting for was here and there's all these amazing women in front of me and honestly, I got really scared and I did not have a good audition and I got cut the first round. <laughs> but I knew that the Raiders is where I wanna be. The Raiders is where I've always wanted to be ever since I was a little girl. And I knew that I just had so much more to give to the organization. Fast forward, our season starts, we get to the first practice and someone chose to leave the team and I had a spot to fill. We went back and forth and ultimately the organization said, Tiffany, it's up to you and what you wanna do. And then I said, Danielle, it has to be Danielle. So I called her. I, I remember I was with my mom and I was like, mom, the Rarets coach just called me and offered me a spot on the team. I knew where my heart 
always was. I knew where I wanted to be, but I just knew I was coming to Vegas and I packed my bags. I had a week to pack up and move from the East Coast which is um, one of the craziest things I've ever done, but I would do it again in a heartbeat for the Raiders. I need everybody out. Can you guys yell to everybody back there? Well, I just want to say great job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. You did an amazing job. This has been a really, really long, tough, exhausting week, but you made it. The talent level that's here is incredible. I am so humbled to have the opportunity to be here in front of you guys. And I'm so proud. Whatever happens today, just know that you are meant to be here for a reason. And if it's a no this year, it doesn't mean it's a no forever. It means a comeback next year. But today, focus on, instead of the competition aspect, focus on your passion of dance and your love for performance. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be on the America's Got Talent stage and you are inspiring so many future generations. We have kindergartners up to collegiate dance teams coming today. Don't make me cry, Lexi. <laughs> kindergartners, kindergartners up through collegiate dancers here. And someday you will be their why of why they are here or why they are dancing professionally. So really, if you focus on your love for performance and your love for others and inspiring future generations, I think you guys are all gonna be extremely successful. Hands, what you got? For me, it's just be unapologetically yourself. Be present in the moment because you'll never get this moment back. These group of people, the people that you're performing for. So like just dig deep, remember your why and let your passion for dance show as well as you just wanting to inspire the community. So imagine just like the impact you have and then dig deep in order to let your true passion shine, yes? I love you all, you're all worthy, you're all talented and you all belong here on this stage. So just leave it all on the floor and dance with your entire heart and soul. Who wouldn't be excited, right? All right, ladies, welcome to finals! Let's line up for our opening number. So find your spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Good. Pull up, up. Yes, let's go. Let's go, finish strong. That's okay. Do you feel ready enough to do it with the music? Here we go. Good job, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is awesome. Going into finals, I am feeling on top of the world. This is such a special place to be, not only because everyone is truly amazing and so talented, but we all can support each other and just have a good time with each other. Thank, Thank you, you so for being much. here. Oh, oh it's gosh. my pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you so much. We're literally born to perform. Like, that's what we're good at. So, like, today they're here to see us. Yeah. And it's going to be a big performance. Just and we're going to kill! Seven hugs a day. Oh. <laughs> mm, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> That's the ball. Yeah. Yeah. I love you guys. You're gonna kill. We're all gonna kill it. Well, Perky Sisters, we did it. We did a whole year. Last year was really stressful. This year we did this more confident, more proud. We have a year under our belt. Let's go out there. Let's perform for the audience. Let's show them what we've learned, what we have. Let's get another year under our belt and let's do it together. I'm so proud, so proud to call you guys my sisters. And I just want to do a one of their years. So let's work it, let's get it. I love you. I feel really excited, very nervous especially because I've had an up and down journey with the Raiders. I'm just really excited to show the judges um, how much I've grown this season, how much I love being here, and 
that I'm looking forward to another season with the Raiders. Here we go! I kind of came in just obviously hoping to make the team, but not with really any expectations. So having the chance to perform at finals is just going to be amazing. We're gonna do great, just breathe, smile. Yeah, let's do this. Love We've you. got this. Just yeah. have fun. Yeah, have fun. We got together. it. We've been doing it all week, we're gonna be good. Yeah, we got it. I'm gonna go on the end, you guys go here. One, two. That's so cute. Love. Aww. Love it. The memories, the sweet memories. <laughs> and I see the lights and the judges looking at me. I'm excited. I mean, there's no turning back now. We're here, we're on stage. We have to do something. Anytime I've had a solo, I feel butterflies before I go on. You know, I'm running through the choreography in my head. But as soon as I hit that beginning pose, I just take a deep breath. And then once the music starts, I'm all good to go. I just kind of went out of my head for a little and went back and focused in on the moment that I was in and that really helped me just to be authentic. I am just in my own head. I don't even really know what's going on around me. I think it went well, but then you start to play back. Should I have pointed my toe harder? Should I have kicked further? Like you start to question everything, um, but you just have to realize that it's not in your hands anymore and that, you know, what's meant to be will be. So for the judging process, the judges based off of four criteria, and that included routine knowledge, execution, technique, and stage presence. So we collected all of those scores through their iPads and basically were able to provide the average of all the scores for each of the contestants. Okay. So after we had that, we were able to determine who were the no's, who are the maybes and who are the yeses, just to be able to narrow it down and make the selection process a little bit easier. We have 31 yeses right now? The, well, we have more than that, but those are all greens across the board. Man, it was a difficult time just trying to figure out and come together as a group of who would make the best Raider at, out of the maybes. So it was a very tough process. In the group setting, she was so strong. I thought so and too. And yeah, Tiffany like, made, I Tiffany like. and Hanny really pressed that you dance as a group. Yeah. I don't think that her outfit and her solo really helped showcase her. I don't her I agree with that. Because in, in, the, in the group of three and all through prelims, she was a wow, yes. Yeah. I agree yes. with you. I yes. agree with you. I don't think she bombed her interview. It was just, I think. Not the best. Not, yeah. But it's weighing her down, otherwise she would have Oh, is that it, it, Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise she scored 4.7 across right. the board. Like, phenomenal. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Jordy, cold hearted snake. I loved her. Mm. I, I liked, liked her. her. <laughs> I liked her. Yeah, I loved her. I don't know. I did. Oh, yeah, she had legs for days. Yeah. Yeah. Leg extensions to her yeah. nose. I don't know. I She's a good crazy. teammate. We have to pick how many? Two? Two more. Yeah, oh, my. The Can we see what that looks like on the table yes. all together? Let's see if the puzzle pieces fit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that is a beautiful Thank team. You. So let's pull those ones then. Yeah, make the call. Here, here's 21. What about 16? And 16, too. 16. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's 16? Danielle. Everybody speaks. What? You need to speak on 16. Okay, because, because I already spoke on 16. I told you guys last year she was cut from the team, didn't make it, trained her butt off for the entire year, got put on the team late, came 
flew across the country to move in four days, knew all the material she had missed for the first month of practice. I mean, I thought she had good scores. She's an amazing teammate. I think she has a great look. She volunteers. She coaches local cheer teams. I just think as a whole package, I mean, I would throw myself in front of a bus for Danielle personally. Yes. But that's what My I mean. Like, been... listen, guys. No, I understand. It's because you guys are such great teammates. However, like, level up. where we're going with this, mm -hmm. it's a different level. And that's fair. It's a high level, all right? They're beautiful. I think this is it. I think let's just do it. They're so talented. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I mean, there's going to be like incredible. This is by far. This will be the dream team. Phenomenal. So yeah. For the this? Super Bowl. Is this? <sighs> oh my god. Oh. I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> we're, we're also making dreams come true. I need to remember that. Yeah. That's the hard part. How many people was it? Like at least twelve or something? Oh, I can't look at that. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Like I want to throw up. <sighs> I don't know. I don't even like, it's a blur. I feel like I don't even remember who made it at the moment. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like trying to replay everything in my head. Oof. I feel sick. Crushing people's dreams, making others. Yeah. If you could blind us, if you could blind us by the light, that'd be great. Just want to remind you that sometimes if it doesn't work out right now, it doesn't mean it's a no forever. And I want you to know that the talent in this room is absolutely incredible. And all of you are amazing and will go so far. Thank you. Waiting is always hard, and especially the longer it gets, we're all like holding hands, like shaking. In random order, please welcome to the team number one. <laughs> number 30. Number 41. I was just so elated. Like, I could not have been more excited. Running up on that stage felt like a dream. And just seeing each girl that came up with me, I was just, like, everyone was there for the same reason and the same end goal. And just sharing that experience with people who also have the same passion and same goal was amazing. I have this thing where I, I like to count how many we're at, so I kind of know how many spots are left if I haven't been called yet. What's going through my head is, nerves and counting. I'm trying to keep up with how many spots are left and then I'm also looking around just trying to see who's gotten called and I started to think maybe I didn't make it. It almost feels like time freezes. Yeah. You're the last one. Number 12. Just, 16 is bugging me. She's an amazing teammate. I think she has a great look. I just think as a whole package, I mean, I would throw myself in front of a bus for Danielle personally. As a vet, I remember what it felt like making it for the first time. And I was just hoping that I would have another season with my dream team as well. So when my number was called, um, it was emotional. I think this might have been the most emotional year getting called last, um, especially because I've just had such an up and down journey with the team. And last but not least, number 16. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your 2023 Raider X. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, from the judges, and now you are officially a Raider Rat.
Sisterhood is the defining trait of football's fabulous females. Since 1961, for six decades, the sisterhood remains strong now and forever. What it means to be a Raiderette is to be something that is bigger than yourself. So that it's not just about the dancing, it's not just about the performance, but it's about the sisterhood. I think our sisterhood is unlike anything. We go back generations. We have 60 years of powerful women coming together. We support each other. And it's really about empowering women and empowering each other. And um, we all get to live out this incredible dream, but at the same time, we're there to encourage others to live out theirs and spread love and spread joy to our community. I mean, they're my family, the team I spend just as much time with the ladies I coach that I do with my own kid and my, my family. So being in a leadership position is something that I take very seriously and I know the impact I have on their lives, but just the impact I have on their lives, they have just as equal of an impact on me. We are hosting the Super Bowl, but I was picking my Super Bowl team. And because the world will be watching us here in Las Vegas, I want to show the world that we are the best organization in football and cheerleading.